This is the new Bench Dogs 175mm Carpenter Square. Full review coming up. Now this is another product that's out by popular demand of benchdogs.co.uk customers. A number of people have wrote into Ralph saying, hey, I could really do with some sort of carpenter square. And this is the one that Bench Dogs have come up with. As always in benchdogs.co.uk, they've got some interesting features that we'll look at in this video. I'm Andy, welcome to The Wood Grafter. Your first time here, great to meet you. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up if you like what we're doing, and hit the notification bell. And also, drop a comment, let me know what you think of this new product from benchdogs.co.uk. In this video, we're gonna start off by giving a quick overview of the product. We're then going to put it through its paces and look at the features of the product. I then want to look at the accuracy of this to see how good it is. After all, if it's not 90 degrees, what's the point of it? So let's get started by introducing the square. So here it is, the benchdogs.co.uk, 175 millimeters carpenters square. It's now October, 2021, and this thing is available for pre-order. The price point is gonna come in at 60 pound excluding VAT, and £72 plus VAT and obviously shipping on top of that. Now as always don't forget if you are going to buy this use the code the woodgrafter at the checkout and you'll get 5% off those prices. Now in true disclosure this was provided to me by benchdogs.co.uk in order to give it this review. This is made of six millimeter thick aluminium. You can see it's actually three parts of aluminium. It's got these two side cheeks here and then it's got the main device itself. It all comes pre-assembled, there's no, there's no assembly required on this product. It's anodized in this nice Bench Dogs black finish and everything then is etched on there in the white writing and that gives it durability and these markings don't wear off over time. It comes factory calibrated, that means all the angles are guaranteed to have an accuracy of 0 0.005 degrees for the 45, the 90 and the variability we'll look at in a second and the gauge itself is calibrated to five microns. So once again, this is a super accurate product from benchdogs.co.uk. The kit also comes with these two little pins and these pins are in this bottom cheek here for storage and these simply screw in to any of the holes that you see around the triangle for very good reasons that we'll look at in a second when we get into the features. So that's pretty much it, that's the square. So on the surface, yep, yeah, nice little square. A 70 pound might seem expensive, but when you compare it to something like the Incra Precision Square, which is over 100 pound, that's actually pretty good value. And once again, you're paying for that precision because that precision follows into your work. Now where this thing really starts to shine is with the features that's built into it. Let's have a look at that. Now, first and foremost, it's a square. You've got this cheek here, or you've got this cheek here, and that cheek simply butts up to the edge of your stock. What I like about this is those cheeks are raised up a little bit from this, so it does sit there incredibly stable on the stock. There's no tipping with this device at all. And then you can just go ahead and you've now got a 90 degree line to your stock. Now, if that 90 degree line isn't accurate, of course, what's the point? Now, although Ralph tells me this is 0 0.005 degrees plus or minus, I have no need to doubt Ralph because all his material has always been bang on. Let's just check it. I'm just going to bring this up here and I'm going to make a line down there. I'm going to do three lines or a few lines, just make it a bit darker so hopefully you can see it. Now I'm just going to turn this around and I'm going to put my pencil on that line here at the very end, which is there, and slide up the square to that line. And now I'm going to come down and make another line. Now, if these two lines are on top of each other, this is square. Any deviation, especially at this top part here, this is not square. And that there is bang on. There's no deviation whatsoever in that line. That's the top of the line just there, and there's zero deviation. I know a thousand people have come back and questioned the integrity of that check, but as carpenters and woodworkers, even carpentry work that I do, that is more than enough, and that really does support the 0.005 variance that you get on this machine out of the box. So yep, it does 90 degree angles, as you'd expect out of the box. It also does 45 degree angles. So the usual sort of functionality is in here. 
These two cheeks here make it incredibly stable, so it stands on its own two feet. And at this end here, it's got a small gauge that starts at zero and goes through to about 42 millimeters. And that's great if you wanted to use this to look at the height of a router bit, say, or the height of a table saw blade. And that's a really, really nice feature, that small scale there. So I can use this to set up my tools. Obviously, this is square, and with it standing on its own two feet, that allows me to make sure that the fence on my planar jointer is square, or the table on my bandsaw is square, or that the blade on my table saw is square, or even if the router bit in my router is square, because I've got a, a tipping router. So, great features so far. Now, down this edge, you can start to see there's some markings. 5 degrees, 10, 15, 20, 22 and a half, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 40, 35, 30, etc. through to zero. And down here, there's a small hole that's got the word pivot next to it. We've all seen this type of arrangement before. You put it up to the board, you have a pivot point, and you pivot the square and you line up one of those degree markings we saw with the edge of the board and then that gives you the appropriate angle here. So it gives you that protractor type functionality. And this can do the same thing, but it's got a trick up its sleeve. You've probably heard of parallax error. If I've got two things and I think they're in line, depending on how I look at them is whether they're in line or not. So if I'm straight on, they're in line. If I look away, then this one appears further over here. It's not moving. It's my viewpoint that's moving, and that's known as parallax error. Because all of these type of squares has a depth in them, it's very, very hard to make sure that that little marking there is 100% lined up with the edge of the board. And there is known to be inaccuracies when you're using this as that type of device. And typically, you're going to allow about half a degree inaccuracies in that angle because of that parallax error. Now this avoids that parallax error completely. This pivot point is actually further away from the cheek, so I'm not going to pivot on this cheek at all as you normally would. I'm going to take these pins that were supplied and I'm going to put the first pin into the pivot point. The second pin I'm going to put into my chosen angle. So if I wanted 22 and a half degrees, I put this pin into the 22 and a half degree point like so. And I reference these two pins against the edge. Pivot point on, bring the 22 and a half one in, and there's no error at all now, there's no parallax error whatsoever, and that line is guaranteed to be 22 and a half degrees from the vertical that we made before. And because of the precision of this, that 22 and a half degrees is 0 0.005 degree tolerance which is absolutely fantastic and such a simple idea really brings this into a different league and you can obviously make any angles that you wish on this one 5 10 15 20 22 and a half etc really 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 good feature now you can also see down here at the bottom six millimeter 12 and a half millimeter seven and a half millimeter nine millimeter same here six millimeter seven and a half millimeter nine millimeter 12 and a half millimeter now if i take my little thumb screws again and I put that into the 9mm hole and I put this one into the corresponding 9mm hole then what that's given me is a gap that's 9mm from the edge of the thumb screw to the edge of the square. So when I come in the edge of my board if I push those two thumb screws up against this edge and draw a line that line is now perfectly parallel to this edge and nine millimeters in. So why do you actually care about that? Well, look at those numbers. Six is half of 12. Seven and a half is half of 15. Nine is half of 18. 12 and a half is half of 25. Do those numbers sound familiar? They should do, because that's a nominal thickness of stock that you tend to get in sheet type goods. This is 18 millimeters stock. So that line there is nine millimeters from the edge. So if I wanted to take this other piece of 18 millimeter thick stock, put my pins in, draw my line, and now I can drill some holes on that line. So those holes will line up exactly to the center point of a piece of corresponding stock I might want to use to make a quick dirty cabinet, for example. Or using the same pins in that sort of orientation, I now know that the line is nine millimeters from this face here, and this line is nine millimeters from this face here. So if I was to drill some corresponding dowel holes in that, I know that that would line up perfectly 
to that edge in that type of carpentry. So another super, super quick, easy feature. And as I say, out of the box, it'll do you six millimeters, half of the 12 millimeter stock, seven and a half millimeters, half of 15 millimeter stock, nine millimeters, half of the 18 millimeter stock, and 12 and a half millimeters, half of 25 millimeter stock. Awesome. Now it has got some final tricks up its sleeve. You can probably see here, it says 12 and a half millimeters. Here, it says six millimeters. And here, it says seven and a half millimeters. That's the distance of the corresponding face from the edge. So the end of this cheek here is 12 and a half millimeters from that edge. This cheek here is seven and a half millimeters from that edge. And this face here is six millimeters from the face of the triangle. Now, once again, that's just quick and simple. So I can now just put that against the edge there and I can now just run my ruler down and I've now made a mark 12 and a half millimeters from that edge. So lots and lots of versatility inside this simple square. So there you go, I've nothing more to say about the Carpenter's Square from benchdogs.co.uk. Thumbs up from me, it's good price, it's super, super accurate, it's a really nice size, lots of versatility in the one device, and I think that's gonna be a go-to uh, tool in my shop moving forward. So that's available for pre-order now on benchdogs.co.uk, 70 pound including VAT. Don't forget to use the discount code, the Woodgrafter at checkout for your 5% discount, and I'll see you next time on the Woodgrafter. Take care.